So this video is for the 2017 short questions for Leaving Cert Business. So I'll take you through the answers now. So for question one, we had in unit one contract law, which is in people and business, so we had to match the key terms to their explanations or definitions. So specific performance is E, which is a remedy for a breach of contract. Legality of form is A, saying that some contracts must be in writing to be legally valid. Performance is B, which is a way of terminating a legal contract. Consideration is C, so the mutual exchange of something of value in a contract. And capacity is F, which is the legal right to enter into a contract. So uh, we'll move on now to the um, next question, which is two. So you have to circle the correct option in the case of each of the following statements. So a sole trader um, is affected by the death of the owner, as was one person in charge. The shares of a public limited company, these are quoted on the stock exchange. In a franchise agreement, a fee is paid to the franchisor. Remember, the person taking out the franchise is the franchisee. In a cooperative, the voting rights of members are all equal. So um, credit union, for example, everyone has an equal say. And a partnership is not a separate legal entity. So uh, question three, then, these are interest groups in unit one. So what do they stand for? So IBEC is Irish Business and Employers Confederation. ICTU is the Irish Congress of Trade Unions. ISME is Irish Small and Medium Enterprises. IFA is the Irish Farmers Association and CAI is the Consumer Association of Ireland. Question four now. Um, so this is uh, tax questions in, in unit four. So customs duty is a tax on goods and services imported from outside of the EU. That's correct. Uh, corporation tax is applied to profits made by every business in Ireland. Uh, that's false. A P45 is given to employers when their employment is terminated. That's true. The existence of tra tax credits reduces the amount of USC to be paid. That's false. And capital acquisitions tax is tax on the profits made from the sale of assets. That's false as well. Question five then. Cash flow forecast. So again, unit four. Um, so uh, you kind of have to remember the logic of receipts minus payments equals net cash. Net cash plus opening cash equals closing cash. And closing cash in the first month. Or sorry, opening cash in the first month, should I say, which you can see there's 5,000 will always be the opening cash in the uh, total column as well. So um, A is 25,000, so working backwards, something minus 17,000 equals 8,000, so 25,000 minus 17,000 equals 8,000. Um, receipts minus payments, so 12,000 minus 15,000, it's a deficit of 3,000 there, so put the brackets around the number. And then for C here, receipts minus payments, 57,000 minus 46,000 is 11,000. Uh, this opening cash of uh, 5,000 from month July or first month, and the two numbers here at the end should always be the same. So 11,000 plus 5,000 equals 16,000. So you can always check that to make sure you get the correct answer. Uh, two methods a business may use to minimize bad debts. This is question six. So, um, in other words, making sure that you don't have to cover the loss yourself by selling goods on credit to people who can't pay you. So you can look at the creditworthiness of a potential customer through getting a bank reference or a trade reference from a company that has dealt with before. You can offer incentives like cash discounts for paying on time, like 10% off, money off, whatever. You may also have um, credit limits, but again, just be aware. It may mean that if you haven't done your homework properly, that the business still may not be able to pay you. So just be careful to explain that point properly. For question seven, explain the term global business. So sells all over the world and um, sees the world as one big market. Google and Facebook would be perfect examples of that. They have the same product available all over the world. For question eight, uh, we have a break even chart. So you've got to fill the letters in. So A is your fixed cost. So that's the one that is the same the whole way across. That's your fixed cost line. Uh, B is your total revenue line. That will be the one that starts at zero and goes the whole way up. Uh, C is your total cost line, which you can see here. And D is your break even point where the two points um, meet. So um, there are your uh, A, B, C and Ds. You're then asked to calculate the margin of safety at 75,000 units. So you go to 75,000 units and um, you have to go, well, 75,000, your margin of safety is how far sales can um, fall then before the business starts to lose money. So 75,000 minus the 50,000 is uh, 25,000 units. So sales can fall by 75 to 50, which is 25,000 units before uh, the firm will start to make a loss. 
Question nine, define the role of the European Commission. So it drafts and proposes new laws as Unit 7 um, for interested EU citizens. It manages the EU budget, um, in other words, supervising how money is spent. Uh, two other main decision-making uh, members are institutions of the EU, so the European Parliament and Council of the European Union. And question 10 this is from Unit 6. So outline your understanding of the terms inflation rate and interest rate. Inflation rate, this is a rate by which prices increase over a period of time. So we use a consumer price index to measure this. So the measurement is the consumer price index. And interest rate is the cost paid by the borrower to a lender as a percentage of amount borrowed or amount earned for money saved in a bank. So it can be either on borrowings or it can be on savings. So that's what the differential is there. So there is the answers to 2017's short questions for Leaving Service.